welcome to Gary Vapes. And today we are looking at a couple of new kind of hybrid disposable type things. I'm not a big fan of disposables, so it was interesting to see what these were and how they could possibly help people get off of them. So um, let's dive down. I'll show you what I've got. We'll come back up. We'll talk about some pros and cons and whether I'd actually recommend them. Okay, so here you go. And as you can see, we've got a few things here. Now, don't worry, they're not disposables. In fact, this um, Blank Bar Plus is a hybrid disposable system, which we'll talk about in a second. But before we get into that, let's just have a look at this itself. Now, this is their main pod system they sent me. You may be wondering why there's not much packaging. We're that early on in the process that they just haven't got around to doing all the boxing out for it. So we've got this very, very early indeed, which I am privileged to have, I must say. Um, but yes, this is the actual main pod system they sent me it's called the minikin pod now just to give you an idea a little description of what they say um this is a reincarnation of our flagship um in a more modernized form factor tailored to a more current trends in vaping the minikin pod system takes the same quality as its name carries and has been shrunken for a more economical fit and boasts an impressive 50 watt output and impressively high drain internal battery of 1800 milliamps which is very very big for such a small device um, and it will easily last you a day i've been very impressed with that side of it as far as everything else, obviously Asmodus or Admodus, whatever you want to call them, another name murdered. They was around for many, many years and then they disappeared for years and years and years. And what happened in that time, I don't know. All I do know is they did actually say that in 2017, um, there were some unexpected events in China um, and basically they went away. They came back in, uh, in 2020, 2019, they started to see a boom in disposables and then in 2021 they decided to get back into it and that and they've kind of gone down this sort of hybrid route of disposables which i'm all for is to try and get people off of them sort of devices so that is fantastic to see and the actual device itself though it's metal construction and it's got this bit here which i can only assume is real carbon fiber because i can't seem to pick anything off of it and it feels very very realistic so i'm not sure if it is or isn't as far as prices go again i cannot tell you but the paintwork on it in that i think looks absolutely beautiful airflow for the pod system is just on the side there it is a bit finicky and it is a bit movie sort of thing you're not going to move it in your pocket because the way it's recessed in that gap there but you know it will move a bit if you do put your finger in there and sort of go like that sort of things so it's worth mentioning again this is very early on so these are some things that may change um but the actual pod itself is what i love the most about it if i'm honest with you um although it's got a crappy rubber filling system they've done it in a very clever way so basically on the back end here you just push that little flap up and there you go that is your big hole and where you can fill it up now they are um external coils so you can just put in your own coils and um, so we'll put a new one in while we're here anyway so you can see let me just grab some e-liquid um but yes um i do quite like that filling system because although it's using a sort of older technology they've kind of tried to find a way to make that a little bit better um rushing this like mad but never mind let's stick it in um just so you can see and then yeah pop it in there squeeze away like so and that'll do for now and then just push that down and as you can see it doesn't come out the bottom how long that will last i don't know i've been testing this for two weeks i haven't had an issue with it at all but yeah I guess by the time that happens, you're probably going to want to change the actual whole pod itself anyway. But yeah, it works incredibly well. And then to put it down, you just pop it down like so. Just give it a good push like so. And that's it. You can change your airflow from there, which as you can see there, the magnets are a little bit loose. There is magnets in there. They're a little bit loose. And it does lift up a little bit when you're trying to do it. But to be honest with you, as long as you don't touch it and you get it right, you're good to go. As far as the actual screen goes, it's five clicks on, five clicks off, as you'd expect. It's a very clear and clearly new screen so it shows up nicely um yeah five clicks on five clicks off three clicks will lock the actual fire button so like so that will actually lock the fire button so you still can go up and down with your wattage but you can no longer fire it from the device itself and um, three clicks again will unlock it as far as anything else goes i can't actually tell um if there's anything else it can do um i've tried holding down up and down at the same time nothing i've tried fire on down fire on up no, nothing else seems to happen so um, yeah but that's the actual device and yeah i've been quite impressed with it so far if i'm completely honest with you i like the fact they've done things like put the charging point on the front which is type c as well so it's not on the bottom so you haven't got to lay it down anything like that and it is a lovely size in fact to give you an idea of size i think i've broke another one of these i've gone through more of these than anything else i've ever gone through in my life um, <laughs> but yeah you're looking around see i don't know what's going on there 70 74.7 by 25.3 by 
74.8 so yeah it's 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 a nice small as i say comfortable device really and um, but we'll talk about that more when we go up but as far as other things we've got and that is these blank bar plus and um, yes they're a hybrid system and um, this is one that's actually in its full packaging so i kept that in there so you can see what you get if you were to buy one i'm assuming that's what it's going to come with eventually as you can see on the side there as well a 0 0.8 ohm mesh coil three mil capacity again in the uk i'm assuming that's going to change to two mil 550 milliamp hour battery it has a type c rechargeable battery in there and it is a replaceable pod and that works by just quite simply pulling the pod which is very tight out like so and that is it it has got a crappy rubber filling system but i don't kind of mind that because this actual system being a closed pod system by the time that coil's gone this should still be okay so i'm quite impressed with that as far as the actual device goes itself it's actually quite nice again they've done silly things like the type c charging is on the side still it's not on the bottom i like the exposed little look at the bottom of it they do both have them i'm assuming they're going to come in different colors there's none as what i'm doing right now but if there is i should put pictures up to let you see i'll do the same obviously with this one they'll be up if they're if i can find any but as i say they are quite early on they, they're um, there's not a great deal out there for them and one thing they do say about this these are going to probably sell for around 9.99 so pretty cheap oh pardon me um it says you'll find us a new term of describing our device it's a hybrid disposable system the device is both rechargeable pod system and disposable at the same time the idea is that one can take the unit to the corner burns throw it out um, without having to throw out the entire device they can then go to a vape shop and buy a new pod, refill, etc, etc. So yeah, I kind of like that. You know, some people like disposables. It's just easier for them. They prefer it. Then this is an, another option for them to sort of go for. And um, personally, I think personally that if you're going to make that jump you might as well make that jump to an actual proper pod but there are some people out there that are reluctant to do that so you know each of their own that is their own um sort of choice and what you will see though in there there is two great big prongs and they go into the actual pod itself it's not like any other system i've seen before normally they just kind of touch like you know on top of each other but these actually really does insert into them which is why it can be a bit of a pain to get out um, but yes, apart from that, let's go up, let's talk about some pros and cons, and I'll tell you a little bit more information about it, if I can find some. Okay, so yes, there you go. Now, the video was um, filmed a couple of days ago, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, I did that when they first arrived, because I was a bit overwhelmed with them, if I'm honest with you. Um, I've had a few days to play around them, so we will just recap some things and talk about some things as well. We'll start off with the Blank Bar Plus, um, and I believe it is Modus. Another name murdered. Um, but anyway, so the actual pod system itself is um, the pod should last 10, and this is what they're saying, it should last 10 full fills. Um, so it's 30 mils, basically, that can go through each pod, which, if true, is not bad at all because there's quite a few pods out there that won't do that. So that's quite a lot. So 10 whole fills through that system, which is pretty darn decent. Now, they are obviously um, free mil here in the UK. I'm assuming if you're going to get them in the UK legally, they're gonna be two mil. So I'm assuming that will give you more fills. Not really sure. Again, this might just be for the market all over the world. Um, but yeah, so that's something that's worth mentioning as well. Um, the pods um, are sold, um, you can actually get three of them for 9 99 Now I'm not trying to sell them, I'm just telling you the information YouTube, please don't try and ban me. Um, but you can get them for 9 99 for the free. So you're looking around three pound 33 each um so 30 mils for that it seems quite decent if that's true obviously i'm just telling you what they're stating the actual device itself low is it's actually in dollars i should say as well that's 9.99 dollars sorry should mention that um but the actual pod itself as well or the whole system sorry the whole device is 9.99 dollars as well but obviously that gives you the two pods so that's my first little con i want to talk about because that's at such a value that it kind of makes sense to buy a new device every time which then becomes a disposable so i suppose that's down to user um sort of user's choice whether they want to do the right thing or not but yeah it's worth mentioning that for 9.99 you get a whole device plus two pods and for 9.99 you get three pods so yeah it, it's a bit of a strange one but hopefully you'll make the right choice and do the right thing um just confirm as well it's a free meal as i said here that i've got here I'm assuming it'll be two mil when it comes out in the UK properly. 650 milliamp hour battery, a 0 0.8 ohm mesh coil. Now I couldn't find any other coils, uh, that, any other pods with the coil inside. I could only see the 0 0.8. It comes in two different colors and obviously, yeah, there's no buttons, anything like that. Uh, as far as experience wise, um, yeah, it's very much like a disposable pod. 
no adjustable airflow, anything like that, but it is that same airflow as you get with all disposable pods. It's not bad. I'll be honest with you, as I said, I'm not a fan of disposables, um, but it's a nice way that they're trying to sort of get around that. Obviously, you're going to, theoretically, if you do the right thing, keep the actual device itself, so you're going to save a load of different economical world-saving issues by disposing the lithium, and um, we've done videos on that before. And that's my biggest concern with all of these, um, is that actual lithium battery. There's only so much of it in the world, and we're just throwing it away. It's not a good thing. Um, but yeah, I do like the idea. I do like the thoughts that they've sort of gone round to this. Another thing I like to say as well, it's very well made. The pod fits in there really well. For such a cheap device, it's quite impressive how well made it is. It feels nice in your hand. It's got a nice thickness. It's nice and curved. Very economical to the hand. I like the exposed circuit board at the bottom. And as I said down below as well, I like the fact they put the Type-C charging on the side, even for such a cheap device. It would have been very easy for them to just stick it sort of on the bottom like everyone else used to do. But yeah, if you like disposables, this is a very much a disposable type feel. The auto system in there is very good as well. We spoke about this quite a lot with auto systems, especially when it comes to disposables. Basically it works off of a, a rubber flap that when you breathe in, it brings it up and it triggers a switch at the bottom. Because they are disposable generally, they become a bit crappy and they, they end up sort of cutting off or fluttering as you're trying to vape. So as you're vaping it, it's kind of firing away or it will fire and then just cut off early. You don't get that with this at all. It's a lovely, lovely auto draw. Yeah, nice and smooth. And with the amount of pod juices out there at the moment, you will find a flavour that fits your needs as well. So I do like it. Again, whether that's for you or not, I'm not a big disposable fan, but it is worth mentioning. It is there, and it is a better alternative to a pro true disposable. But the one thing I want to talk about more is this little bad boy, because I've really enjoyed, enjoyed using this. So it's the Minikin. Um, yeah, there is an existing Minikin out there, but I've never tried it, never used it, so I'm going to treat it as its own little device. Um, it will come with the 0.3 and the 0.8 ohm um, um, pods. Um, it's $34.99 again. Um, again, not trying to sell it YouTube. I'm just letting people know. <laughs> Stop trying to ban me every time I mention money. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's not a bad kit for that sort of money. Assuming it will come out in England the same sort of money as you'd expect. You're looking around £20, £25, which I don't think is bad at all, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, it's It's... It's a decent device. I will say it does have that feel of an older device. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the build, the quality. There's nothing wrong with the build or the quality, but it just has that feel of a slightly older device. Um, so that is worth mentioning. As always, these are honest reviews. I will never be honest. Um, you can get a mouth to lung or a direct to lung uh, drip tip for it, which is good. I like that. I like the fact it's giving you that versatility. Um, it's obviously got the 1,800 milliamp hour battery in there. Uh, they say, again, the pod should last 10 times. So depending on the actual pod that you get in your um, sort of area, I'm assuming that will change from there. Obviously, again, this is the 30 mil pod, um, uh, the 3 mil pod, sorry. So again, 30 milligrams. So if you're getting a 2 mil TPD, I'm assuming it will last more than 10. Again, though, these are all just numbers that they are quoting, not myself. I haven't tested this, so I can't tell you for sure. Uh, the screen is actually an OLED screen. And as I said down below, it's a very crystal clear, nice screen. And it's such a big screen for such a small device. I actually quite like it. I think it looks pretty darn decent. Um, well, 13 different colours. Um, I can only find a photo of eight of them, but apparently there is 13 different colours, um, which is what they emailed me and told me. Um, it is button fire only, um, can get a load of spares for this as well, which is quite interesting. I'll put some pictures up now for you to see. You can get new screens, drip tips, um, you can even get the metal case. Um, so you can basically build your own one, which is quite unusual, but I do like that because if there's any issues and you want, you can do it. Um, some bad things would just be that pod is a little loose. It's never going to fall out or anything like that, but it is a little bit loose in that actual system and when you pull it out and put it in it just feels a little bit finicky a little bit off um but as far as cons go that is pretty much all i can really say um other things yeah really well made it does have that feel of an older device but it is very well made paint job is lovely i must admit it's it's unusual but i actually quite like it so i do like that it does have the big modus logo engraved on the side but because of the paint job you can't really see that so it's not much of an issue but it is worth mentioning if that's not your sort of thing airflow on this thing is very good as well um it's literally can go off well, you're going to get nothing out of it to a really wide open, which is fantastic. Really wide open. In fact, let's have a puff now. So we're doing this around. Let's do it on 43 watts. 
for such a small device. This thing is an absolute banger. Um, yeah, really like it. It's got a, it's got a fairly good resistance, but because it, as I said down below again, because it's in that sort of little cutout thing, you're never going to touch it. So you haven't got to worry about that at all. Also, the battery in this thing is massive for the size of it. It's so small and 1,800 milliamp hour battery in there is really good. It's lasted me easily a work day. I've been very, very impressed with it. Even running it at higher wattages like 45, 50 watts. Um, yeah, not a problem at all, but yeah, uh, flavor. Vapor reduction from these coils as well, really, really good. Both coils were good, I will say that. The 0 0.8 is more tailored to a mouth to lung. It's on the very edge of that low. I'd say it's more of just uh, a loose mouth to lung, shall we say. But the 0 0.3 for me is, is where it's at. Fully open. Great paper, great flavour. Yeah, really enjoyed using it. Um, as far as scoring goes for it, it's a weird one because I'm going to give it an A. It's well deserving of an A. It feels a little bit old fashioned, as I said, but I can't knock it. It's really, really good. And it keeps up there with some of the, the very, very new, up to date, modern stuff. It's, it's very, very simple, but very, very good. Yeah, it's whether you like it. Again, when it comes to pods, there is so many out there. It's going to be real, real tricky for you. But I will say this, if you bought this, you would not be disappointed. Okay, so that's the end of the review. And yeah, it, it's as simple as that. I, I absolutely love the actual Minikin. I think it's really, really good. I love the fact the screen's huge. I like the look of it. I like the blacked out buttons and everything like that. The drip tip's nice. Yeah, really well made. Flavor, really, really good. Vapor reduction, really, really, really good. Um, so yeah, I would highly, highly recommend that. I'm not going to score the um, blank bar. Um, it's good. It's a disposable, slightly improved and better for the world, quite simply. It, if you vote a disposable and someone gave you this, didn't tell you anything about it, you'd vape away on it and you would think it's a disposable, quite simply. So that's hats off to that sense of things. Um, and again, yeah, you can, you know, theoretically keep that lithium battery going, you know, and look after it and look after the world. My issue is that pods cost ratio. Now, these are just costs that I could find online. Hopefully they'll come down. If then pods come down to more like 5 99 then yeah, it's a no-brainer. You'd buy the pods every time. Then you haven't got to worry about anyone sort of going, well, I'll just buy a kit then, sod it, it's cheaper. Um, so yeah, if they could sort that pricing out, it'd be much more um, sort of, make more sense, shall we say. But yeah, for me, it's more about the Minikin. I have thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed using that. But yeah, if you're looking for a pod, good luck. There's so many out there. It really is a minefield. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do hit that like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I'll speak to you again soon.